I was in fact just now recording in slow-mo. Let me check again, let me check again. Okay, now we back in action. Welcome back y'all, it's your girl Naya Marie. And we got another fashion video for the girls. The girls have been asking me, what are some staple pieces that I need to have in my closet for the fall and just in general? Because if you really know how to shop, your summer and spring can be your fall and winter. I'm just saying, so make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. To Come on over, girl. Come on over, girl. All right, y'all. Let's get to the video. All right, y'all. So, we are going into the fall months. It's already kind of fall down here in Atlanta, Georgia. But some of y'all are already freezing. So, you're already putting your jackets on. We haven't gotten there yet in the South. We haven't gotten there yet, but I'm ready for it to come, baby, because I'm ready to get dressed. Okay? So, Let's get into some things that I think every woman and every man needs to have in their closet. And that's just basic staples. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing that's not obtainable. You can find it at any store that you shop at. At Zara, H&M, ASOS, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, wherever you shop. You can find these basics. So these are my top five things that I feel like you need to have in your closet period that are transitional pieces that will take you from spring summer to fall winter or autumn winter however y'all want to do it fall fall winter okay so the first piece we have i know we'll get into denim but nice and easy nice and easy this is a crop one but i have several different lengths of white button downs and i usually replace these maybe like twice Two to three times a year because they can get a little dingy. Especially if you're wearing them a lot. But a simple white button down will take your outfit from zero to ten. Or it's a quick little put on. You can pair it with some jeans. You can pair it with your leather pants. You can pair it with joggers. You can pair it with several things. So now I just popped my bra strap. <laughs> so it's always good to have a simple white button down in your closet. If you want any good ones, you can try H&M, Zara sometimes are you can try mango certain stores like that have really good quality white button downs i have cropped i have some that have some eyelet markings on them so i have a plethora of white button downs and i also have like a cream colored um silk shirt as well so keeping these in your closet is a must-have button downs you can keep if you want to do more than white, you can do white, black, um, colors, because I have orange, green, pinks. You want to keep it several different colors in your closet, chef's kids. And then you got 30 different outfits that you can piece together within a matter of seconds, okay? So that's number one. Then we'll get into the fall stuff. These are just staples, okay? Number one, I mean number two. Ooh, you're not a count, Laura. Okay. Take a moment. Yeah, I have be telling y'all to do that too. Anywho, next, denim. Having four or five shades of denim is mandatory for everyone's closet because every outfit does not require light. Every outfit doesn't require dark. Every outfit doesn't require black. So I always suggest to have a light wash, medium, dark, black. And if you're a white jean girl, I am not. I don't own white pants because I know for a fact they're going to get dirty. <laughs> they're going to get dirty. So I don't own white pants. But you want to stay within, well, at least have the four colors of denim. Like right here. We got my light, my, um, it's kind of like light medium. Medium, black. Well, I ain't got no dark up here. I got dark jeans, but... They might be in the wash, but get you four to five shades of denim. I think that's always a staple to have in your closet because everybody don't like light denim. Or if you want looking for a certain look, light denim is not going to go with what you want it to go with, if that makes sense. Okay, number three top item that I feel like you should have in your closet, denim jackets. 
it don't matter how they're what silhouette they are um if they have designs if they cropped if they're oversized denim jackets must have for your closet light denim dark denim crop however you want to put it um different patterns denim and that goes for men and women like for instance i have this denim jacket but i also have like this crop jacket that has like elongated sleeves that i got from pretty little thing or i have a vintage jacket denim jacket that i thrifted and i just kind of did a little situation with that so denim jackets always a great staple to have in your closet and you can transition those fall to winter as well if you get an oversized one and you want it to layer you can put a hoodie on underneath a sweater um long johns whatever y'all do to keep you keep you warm in the winter months you can put them under the denim jacket especially if you live in the south and you don't really need a coat coat <laughs> you can use a denim jacket so for one we got white button downs or button downs in general with two we have denim any not any color denim four colors of denim light medium dark black and white if you are a person that like white denim denim jackets the next one four blazers blazers y'all would not i was so surprised i was on live on tiktok one day and we were talking about fashion pieces because we were in the closet you would not what am i trying to say I was super shocked to learn that people do not own blazers. I was actually flabbergasted <laughs> that people don't own blazers. And not the work blazers, but like lounge, oversized, dad type blazers. They don't own them. They own work blazers. You know, the ones that are super tight, got ruching, or they're super, super tailored. They don't have oversized blazers this one is not oversized this one has a little bit more structure in it that i got from h m but if you're just starting off in the blazer game and you're wanting to add blazers to your closet i suggest to get a black um a cream color or white black cream navy um gray like your basic neutral colors if you're just looking to start your blazer collection go neutral because all of those will go with anything that you decide to wear that day. So if you're starting out, black, cream, navy, gray, or tan, like a or tan. This is a leather blazer. You mean you don't necessarily have to get a blazer of this magnitude because this is a I can't wait to Zara drop them again. Cause I need the black one like this with the gold buttons, but blazers, 10. Easiest way to elevate a look. Because say for instance, you going out with your girl and these are basics y'all. I can put an outfit together right now of the basics that we just talked about. And I still have one more of the, I'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. Okay. Let me give you the fifth, the fifth element. So the first one was the white button down. Second is our denim. Third is our denim jacket. Fourth would be blazers. Our fifth element would be jackets. <laughs> Y'all probably like, huh? Jackets. This one, for instance, I picked up from Zara um, for my birthday. Little fluffy jacket. Lightweight jackets. Okay? And when I say lightweight, that one's kind of fall-ish because it's a new pickup. But like lightweight jackets, not blazers, but jackets. So say for instance, this one that I got from Zara. It has like a little um, bat wing sleeve. She's super lightweight. She's really like a linen, <laughs> linen e type material jackets in any color that you can find, like any color that you can find. And that's your um, instance. Here's another jacket. jackets lightweight not thick not um not the fall jackets that we're looking at not a coat 
there is a difference between a coat and a jacket. Some people may not know, so I'm not being shady. But there's a difference between a coat and a jacket, okay? So, actually, I'm going to go grab one of my coats in the coat closet. They don't call it a jacket closet. I'm going to go grab one of my coats out of the coat closet and kind of give y'all the difference between the coat and the jacket. So, hold on. Okay, this is a coat. <laughs> this is a coat. She's thick. She's wool on the outside. She's heavy. This is a coat. This is a jacket. Okay, a little bit thinner, not as heavy. Coat, jacket. In your wardrobe, you need to have several jackets. Coats, I, just depending on where you live, um, you may want several coats, but I live in the South. I don't need that many. I need a basic color, a pop of color, um, bubble vests, bubble jackets. We don't really wear coats like that down here. But I want to get more. But that is the difference. Coats are a little bit, they're heavier. These are the things that you wear in the winter. When it's cold, cold. Jackets, you can wear year round. Depending on the lightness of it, how heavy it is. And all of that jazz. So jackets. Put jackets in your closet. It can be colorful. They can be statement. They can be vintage, thrifted. Whatever. Put jackets in your closet. So back going back through the five elements that everyone should have in the closet button downs white button down Ooh. white button downs two denim four or five different colors of denim that's your light your medium your dark your black and white if you're into white okay staples <laughs> in the closet okay staples the next one is denim jackets denim jackets denim jackets staples jackets four blazers five or i'm pretty sure i said those numbers backwards but you get the gist white button downs you can do white you can do colored printed it doesn't matter what type of button down it is just get it okay just get it so white button downs blazers denim denim jacket and jackets now let me tell you why i think these are your fine staples that you should have in your closet so let's put together a few outfits with what's on the rack okay instance this is our first outfit and i'm not pulling anything from the closet so as you see here everything that is on this rack we're gonna make outfits out of some of the stuff y'all probably like you didn't even talk about that sweater because i'm gonna get into that in the next part but for now <laughs> Those are like my two, the things that you do see on here are like my three suggestions that I have if you're trying to build your fall, winter wardrobe, per se. So for instance, I'm going out with the girls. We're going to dinner. I want to look cute. I want to wear my staples because I ain't got time. I ain't got time to sit here and conjure up an outfit that's going to take me forever. So boom, I'm just going to pull my staple white button down my staple light jeans and my blazer. Oh, y'all probably can't see. Let me pull y'all up. Staples. staples. The five staples, I use three of them to put together an outfit that's super cute, okay? <laughs> you got your old leather blazer, you piece it together with your white cropped top and a jean. Quick outfit. I'm talking about quick. Or, 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 or. Maybe, ooh, ooh, maybe it's a little bit chillier out and you're wanting to wear a jacket. Another staple, light denim. I'm going to take this jacket, staples, and I'm going to piece it with this white button down. That's a whole nother outfit. You can wear sneakers and heels, however you want to do it. Sneakers and heels. Whole nother outfit from basic <laughs> staples that you should have in your closet. Or if you frisky and you like me and like to do denim on denim, boom. Whole nother outfit. You can pair them together. 
denim on denim. You can not put a shirt under here and just go risque, or you can put your white button down, or any color button down, however you want to do it. So that's three outfits I just gave y'all right there from five basic needs in your closet. Or, 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 let's do it like this. I gave you a blazer look, a jacket look, okay? Or, hear me out. Um, let's see, what else we got? We got our leather pen. My coated pen. Um, these are not denim, but they're pants. These are my coated pants from Amazon. If I wanted to do my white shirt here with the coated pen, and I wanted to do my blazer. Oh, another outfit right here. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say it's best to kind of, when you're building your wardrobe, build with intent. If not, if you don't build your wardrobe with intent, now you're just shopping and um, spending money and then always saying when it's time for you to go somewhere that you don't have nothing to wear. You have something to wear. You just keep buying two-piece lounge sets. You keep buying gym clothes. Ain't nothing wrong with it because I need to start buying gym clothes. Clearly. <laughs> or you keep buying trendy pieces that have no longevity in your closet. So you have something to wear. You just wore it once. And since it's one of them pieces, it's just like, oh, I just bought this because it was fun. You're never going to wear it again. You're wasting money. You're wasting money. Okay, this... You're wasting money. So if you're trying to actually build your closet up where you don't have to stay in the mall as much, you don't have to spend as much money, and you're not shopping every week, unless you want to, then starting with your basics and expanding from that is literally the best way to go. Okay, so we got our five basic elements that I, I, because every fashion girl may have different elements in their closet that they feel are must-haves. But those are my top five. White button downs or button downs, period. Blazers, denim of all shades, denim jackets, and jackets. That's what I think is a staple. Now, when we start to transition into the cooler months, we're going to add two, two more elements that I feel like, is it two? I'm going to say three. One of them is a question mark. But for me, I'm going to say three for me. And if you feel the same way, then you feel the same way, right? Yep, exactly. So these are, uh-oh. What was that? Okay, so these are the three elements that I would add to the five basics. So now you got eight. Eight, <laughs> okay? So also, when it starts to get cold, cooler, this is for men and women, okay? Women's and men. For everybody. Leather jackets. Leather jackets. In black. And this one's kind of like a greenish color that I got from Zara. But mainly in black. If you only want one leather one and you don't feel like you may wear your leather jacket often through the colder months, then go for black. But leather jackets. Super cute. Like even leather jackets with loungewear. Like a bodysuit and leggings and your cute little boots. Cute for men. A white button down and they put on their little skinny jeans and their brooch boots. Cute. A leather jacket would elevate your outfit so fast. I'm telling you, I wouldn't lie to you. You can get them in any color, but if you don't, if you're unsure, start with black. You can get leather jackets anywhere right now. This one is from Zara. I have one from H&M. This is my oversized one from H&M. H&M. This is vegan leather. They're not real leather jackets, but I take great care of my jackets. So they will last me a good little bit. But I have two. I used to have a red one. But I outgrew it. I outgrew it. But leather jackets. Elevated look. That is the sixth element to your closet. This is slash fall. So you got your five that are uh, spring, summer, fall, and autumn, which is your white button downs, your jeans, your blazers, your jackets, 
and your denim jackets. You had those, but these, this one would be one of our fall elements, leather jackets. I wouldn't lie to y'all. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Leather jackets are a must have. If you don't like them, you don't like them. Don't add that element to your closet. But everybody loves leather, right? Leather jackets. The and next one I would add for me are little sweaters. I'm a mock neck girl through and through or a heavy turtlenecky girl through and through sweaters. This is one of the sleeveless sweaters that I got from at this point H&M sponsor me. My whole closet is H&M. <laughs> I mean good lord. I've had this sweater for so many years y'all. Cream sweater. And I've had this sweater. Where does one from? H&M again. Sweaters are so easy. And when I say easy, easy. You can get them in several different colors. Pink, orange, blue, green, black, cream, no sleeve, short sleeve, off the shoulder, super like sweaters. You'd be surprised how many people don't really have a lot of, I'm not going to say formal sweaters, but sweaters. Not a sweatshirt. I love me a mean sweatshirt too, but actual sweaters. Something that you could jazz up, put on with a boot, add a jean, put on a skirt, maybe some tights. Tights, not leggings. Tights. You need sweaters in your closet. And this goes for men too. Sweaters. Not just graphic sweatshirts. Sweaters. There's a difference between a sweatshirt and a sweater. Sweaters. Add sweaters. How many times did I say sweaters just now? Don't matter. Hopefully got through y'all not yet because it be thick sometimes. Sweaters. Okay. That's the sixth element. Sweaters. Add them. Colorful. And you can, that even includes cardigans like knitted cardigans, long cardigans, cardigan dusters, crop cardigans. Because I have a couple of those too. Cardigans and sweaters and sweatshirts. But mainly if you want to elevate a simple look, a sweater. Okay. And then... For the fall, for me, it's going to be bubble. This is a recent pickup from Zara. Bubble vest. This is a recent one. I actually bought these last weekend. <laughs> yeah, bought them last weekend. Bubble vest. I love a bubble vest. Bubble coat, whatever. And this is one of those ones that's questionable. You may not like it, but I'm just, you know putting it in there because I like them and I love to wear them in the south because it doesn't get that cold but a cute little bubble elevate your look you can get them and all of mine are neutral colors I don't think I would not somebody was stealing and I bought the vest oh lord Well, I'll be damned. It wasn't me. Y'all know I don't even play like that. Y'all know. Here go my receipt, actually. I don't even play like that. But my people were stealing and put them in their jacket pockets. This was only $35. Tag is still on there because I don't want y'all thinking I'm a kleptomaniac. Because I don't steal. <laughs> I don't, that's crazy. And the alarm didn't go off when I um walked out because she took the... Uh, sensor off but whatever bubble vest I usually keep it neutral with my bubble vest so I have like this color I have a tan color like a longer one with a hood for the winter um I have I think I got a cream colored one and like a greenish coat uh bubble too that one is questionable you don't have to have bubbles to add to your wardrobe to make it elevated you don't but that's one of my, that's my seventh one. No, that's my eighth one when it comes to things to have in your wardrobe. That one's questionable, but, um, and should I just do nine and ten? Okay, so let's go back to the front because I feel like I've been talking too much and I don't want the girls to get confused. So let's do a breakdown of what it is we need. One, white button downs or button downs in general. Two, blazers. 
oversized and not the work blazers. Not the scrunched, not those. Oversized blazers. Denim and light, medium, dark, black, and white, depending on how clumsy you are. Okay? Denim jackets. You could do light denim, dark denim, black, whatever kind of denim, whichever stretch. Denim jackets. And the fifth is jackets. Just like regular, fun, cute, lightweight jackets. Okay? Those are the main staples for the closet. Then when you hop into fall, the sixth one would be uh, sweaters. Sweaters, sweaters, sweaters. Not sweatshirts, but sweaters. The leather jackets are number seven. And number eight, for me, bubble. Bubble vests, bubble jackets, bubble, 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 bubble. Okay, real quick for my battery dad, but I want to say two accessories um, that I think every girl should own. Um, is a single sole sneaker um, that could be your golden gooses mine are my Stan Smith's the green ones a single sole sneaker not the chunky ones but just something that you can just throw on with a jean single sole sneaker I'm trying to I don't feel like digging down there to get my Stan Smith's but a single sole sneaker is going to be number nine and number ten would be Either a black heel, a black booty, or a black boot. Heel, booty, or boot. Black. You can add your colors and mix and match as you, you know, grow your wardrobe. But black booties, heels, or a high boot. Or, and, in the boot category for colorized, I will do black or cream or tan color boot. Your neutral colors, because they go with everything. So, if you're building your wardrobe, I wouldn't necessarily say run to the store and grab a yellow boot or a red boot or um, a blue boot when you know you don't have black or a cream. So, if you want to keep your wardrobe kind of simple and just get something that can go with everything, black, tan, or cream. Building your closet can be very stressful and overwhelming, especially if you go into a store and you just want to buy everything. But you want to start realistically when it comes to building your wardrobe. We got to start realistic, okay? So do a closet audit, a drawer audit. See what you have. See if you have what I listed within your closet. And if you see some pieces in there that you know for a fact that you're never going to wear again, um... Or it's too small or um, it's just not your style or where you're trying to grow to. Give it away. Give it a Goodwill. Put it on Poshmark. Sell it at Plato's Closet. Get rid of it. And start creating a list of the things that you want. Like I have a list of things that I want as I clean out and transition into my grown woman world. There's some pieces that I want to add to my closet. So I've started creating a list after doing my audit. I do an audit every season. So when spring comes, throw things out. Summer's over, throw things out. Fall, winter. Every season, I do an audit on my closet because my style changes. It changes. <laughs> so um, your closet is a never-ending build, okay? So if I think if you start with those five basic things in your closet, you can create so many looks and so many vibes with five different pieces. I kid you not, I put together, what, three or four outfits for y'all to see? And then you got to imagine the outfits once you put your shoes on and your accessories in your bag, your sunglasses. If you're like me, that outfit could be either elevated or casual. Either way it goes. But I hope this video helped. If y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns make sure you leave a comment and let me know what's going through y'all hair girl so these are my five staples i actually gave y'all 10 but the five 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 to start building your wardrobe so i really hope this helps and i thank y'all so much for tuning in to your world and supporting me always because y'all are the goat you're the goat okay you're the goat but thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come back with me. Okay? Bye, y'all. <laughs>